how good your intentions are with your sisters and in so many ways you are so good for them but I'm the mom and if they have questions or they need guidance I want them to come to me not you yeah okay why don't you just come out and say it you think I'm a bad influence on no, Molly and Christina that's not what I'm saying at all I'm saying that in present circumstances I'm concerned about some of what the girls might be learning from you. Why would I be concerned about Ian Devlin on any level? The man's been dead for over a year. I guess we're about to find out. Devlin probably recorded everybody he talked to in Port Charles. And there we go, full circle. So why are you telling me? I just want to see if you're afraid, Claudia. I think you are because you know that you're gonna have to pay for what you did to Michael. Here we go again. You're implying again that I had something to do with Michael's shooting. Oh, I'm not implying. Well, I hate to disappoint you again. I'm not your girl. You're a liar. I feel sorry for you. You're you're like this obsolete war tank. No cause. No effect. You're all primed for battle, but your enemy is long gone. You're right here. <sighs> I'm Sonny's wife, in case you forgot. You want to do your job? Try finding a real enemy. Stop wasting your scary energy on me. And while you're at it, why don't you update your grudge list? You know what, Jason? It's a tragedy. It's horrible what happened to Michael. But it's done. There's no going back and undoing it. Why can't you just, just be happy that the kid woke up and he's okay? Is he? He wants to be. He does. He wants to move on. He wants to move on with his life and move forward. But you won't let him. You're stuck in the past and by God you're going to stay there, aren't you? Until what? You assuage your own guilt? Sonny's fierce enforcer. Hired to protect him. Asleep on the job. While your boss is under attack and his little boy gets shot instead. It's of my little sisters. I am a part of their lives. I thought that's what you wanted. It is. I did. I do. I, I always will. But they're impressionable. They idolize you. They have said you're this exotic, wild, adventurous creature with this life of drama, <laughs> intrigue, and even sex. Sex. We're back to that. Jason and I were not having sex it's when okay. Molly walked it's in. It's okay. That's not the issue it's just that molly's impressionable i really don't want to have the sex talk with her right now she's only 10. she's only 10. i'm sorry i it's okay i'm sorry i, I didn't know she was here it's okay can i without you getting mad can i please just make an observation here sure okay um look th this is about my little sisters not me first of all you micromanage every aspect of their lives with leaving very little room for self-discovery, which is key. Key for Christina right now. She's just having a lot of trouble right now, and I want to... I'm doing what I know to do to keep her on track. Okay, yeah, I understand that. Um, but Christina and Molly do know exactly what you expect from their lives. Nothing less than perfection. And perfect little girls don't challenge or complain. They just bear up. And... I feel the pressure until they crack into a million little pieces, and I'm just saying that maybe when Christina and Molly are here, they can actually admit to being human and admit to insecurity and fear. You know why Michael was here tonight, Jason? He said he wanted to spend some time with his father in the present. You know what he said? He said he wants to move on. He wants to move forward in his life. And I'm sure he's told you as much, but you won't let him. You can't let him because you have to have this enemy to push against, and if you don't, you have to look inside and see your own irrelevance. Man, the world is turning. You need to try to keep up. I'm gonna go spend some time listening to the recordings that Devon left. I hear your voice, Claudia. I'm coming back with the enemy in sight. I try to 
to learn from my mistakes. And even if I can't quite manage to apply the lessons to my own life, I can certainly try to pass them on to my little sisters. I know firsthand the traps that are out there for young girls today. And I, I, I think that I can help Molly and Christina avoid a few. But I'm their mother, and that's supposed to be my job. The truth is, is that I'm just scared because uh, Christina is struggling right now and she needs someone to talk to and she won't talk to me because she thinks I suck and you're all that. And As much as I know that you really, really, really want to help her. And despite how much I love you and I hope you know that I really do, I, I don't want her to make some of the choices that you made. What's wrong with me? Nothing. Nothing. You're wonderful. You're amazing. And without any help from me, and despite so many disadvantages, you have managed to make a life for yourself. But look at the road you had to take, and I want the girls to like themselves first and, and be able to make choices to have a stable relationship instead of drowning in the dysfunctions of the Jasons and the Sunnies. Look who's talking. I'm not one to talk. I don't want them to emulate my behavior or my choices either. I just want something better for your sisters. So, here's the key and I just think it would be best if she doesn't use it anymore. Thank you.